Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Google's URL shortener. So I'm going to open up my web browser, I'm going to go to Google and type in shortener and the first link you should see is this g00.gl. This is Google's URL shortener and it serves a purpose. So to use this tool you need to be logged into your Google account. So create a Google account and then you can log in. And when you click on this link it will take you through to the simplify your links so I'm going to set this to a hundred because I've started to use this yesterday you can see that the link was created only yesterday I'm just testing this tool out and it seems to be pretty good um, and there's a purpose for this so you can see all the URLs in here are quite long not all of them but most of them are quite long and if I go to my website I could take this link for example copy it and then go to the URL shortener and then paste it in here when I paste it, I click shorten URL and it will give me this little URL here, a shorter version of it. If I click done, then it will display that as the top listing and it just got created now. So there's a purpose to creating these shortened URLs, these shortened versions. If I go over to my Twitter account, here you can see all the tweets that I'm posting and all of them now contain this shortened URL. So this saves space on the tweet that you're creating so you can add more content to your tweet and normally URL will be quite long so it will take up quite a lot of characters plus it just it's a lot easier to for people to click on um, and navigate to your blog posts so in this example I want to create a tweet and what I want to do is just create a little tweet I'm going to say something like uh, going to write a special offer website design from only £295 click here for more info and then I'm going to take the shorten URL copy this you can just click here to copy the URL and paste it into here and then I would just want to drag a decent looking image we use this image and I'm going to tweet so here you can see the post it's got a bit of information here and then it's got special offer website design from only 295 click here for more info and when they click there it will take them and redirect them to my website so you can see it's taking them to this specific page where the URL is quite long you see if we go back to the shortener and if we refresh we'll see that it received one click the one click I just gave it and the goal of this shortener URL is to gather some statistics so you can gather, gather stats from here. So if I were to click on this one that's got 13, remember I only put, started this yesterday, so the numbers are quite low. But if we click on 13, it will give me some statistics. So it will tell me this URL about how to install LibreOffice. This is a blog post. It got some traffic. Almost a quarter of the traffic came from Facebook. And the rest of it came from unknown. Now the reason why it says unknown is sometimes people browse using incognito or like a hidden browser version where they can't track the search engines and the, all the applications are unable to track what this user is doing. So normally if you see unknown it's for this reason the user is browsing via this tab here, this incognito tab. It's called different things in uh, different browsers. So I won't worry about that too much but then you can see where the traffic is coming from. You can go back. Normally I set it to uh, 20 per row and then you can scrub through them. You can see this one's got like 14 clicks and in here you can see some of it came from Twitter, Facebook and then the rest is unknown. And this is a nice way to gather statistics and see how your social media is performing. So you can see you can track the stats directly here. Of course you can go, you've got to remember I'm posting these across all my social media so Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. All these links are going directly across all of my different social media accounts but you can go into Twitter and you can go into here and look at specific statistics for Twitter itself and you can do the same on all the other social media I assume like Facebook and so forth so do give a Google URL shortener a try it is a free application to use 
it does say here all Google URLs and clicks analytics are public and can be accessed by anyone so you need to take note of that but if they're all blog posts and there's nothing personal in here then I can't see why that would ever be a problem okay I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial